that third angle. Okay, so again, here's my side, side, side situation. So my side, side, side situation, I'm going to use cosine law, but now I need to solve for the angle. I just label this A, B, C like this. It doesn't really matter how I label it. If I want to solve for that angle A, I need to have that in my cosine A. And then this needs to be the opposite side needs to be in the equation. So then the other two sides, it doesn't really matter. 9 squared plus 7 squared minus 2 times 9 times 7. Cosine, and what's important is that angle A matches that opposite side 10. So solving for cosine A, A I'm going to end up with uh, cosine A. If I clear that, 10 squared minus 9 squared minus 7 squared A divided by 2 times, negative 2 times 9 times 7. Okay, and I end up with positive 0.238. Okay, so I'm going to do my second cos on that. Angle A is equal to the arc cos of that ratio, so input ratio. Okay, I always, I, I never cosine a ratio, I always inverse cosine the ratio. And I end up with 76.23 degrees, give or take. Okay, so there's one angle there. 76.23 degrees. Okay, and I know that the other sides are, must be, I'm going to use sine law in this case because I know that that's the biggest side, so these angles must be less than 90 degrees. Okay, so I'm going to solve for, I'm going to use sine law. Let me switch colors here for sine law. Okay, so using sine law, I'm going to go sine of angle C over opposite. And this is going to be sine of angle 76.23 degrees over opposite. Okay, so now I have my opposite angle side, known angle side pairing. I could use that in my sine law I could, because I have a now known ratio, which I can compare all the other sides to. And then solving for that angle so sine c i type that into my calculator okay so i'm going to cross multiply so nine times uh, okay so i'm getting sine c is 0.874 Okay, so angle C, I need to use arc sine. So I, if I want to find the inverse, I need to input the ratio. I never sign the ratio. I only arc sine or inverse sign the ratio. Okay, and then getting my angle, I get 60.94 degrees. And I know that that must be true because this is my longest side and this opposite angle uh, which is side C. Now this one here, I know that this opposite angle cannot be greater than 90 degrees because it's shorter than this side here of 10. Okay, so now I have two sides. I'm going to deduce, the, sorry, two angles. I'm going to deduce the third angle by just subtraction. Okay, so just make sure I box that in. So those are my two angles. I have my, now have my third unknown angle by deduction. So I just subtract from 180 degrees. So angle B is equal to 42.83 degrees. So those are my three angles. The first one using the cosine law, okay, because I have side, side, side. The second one I end up using sine law. Uh, and you just have to be careful with this because I it could be you know the sub the complement sort of the supplement to this 100 and, you know 19.06 degrees, but this angle clearly cannot be bigger than 100 degrees.
Okay, that's not possible given that this is 76 degrees and that side length is 10, that side length is 9. So I don't have to worry about the ambiguous case in this case, although we really should be consci conscientious of that ambiguous case.